What is going on, Herd? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another one here. Tonight we are going to begin our one of two stage video. That was not the way to say that at all. We are going to be starting this. Tonight's the first of two videos, damn it. We're going to be hitting the tables. We're going to see if anybody else is at the table. Today is going to be about basic strategy. How do you play blackjack? Not how do you bet strategically. That's the second video. But how do you, when do you hit? When do you stay? When do you split? When do you double down? All of that good stuff. Looks like we got a couple people on the floor here. One guy playing blackjack over in the corner. Let's see what he's all about. One guy playing a little bit of, a little bit of roulette. Blackjack is where it's at. The dealer is going to stand on soft 17, so that hurts us a little bit. Okay, let's place the bet. So what can we do for bets? Why don't I see a bet? That's because my heart is off. I'm gonna have to stand up. I gotta be able to see my HUD. I gotta know exactly what I'm betting. He's doing pretty good over there. Okay, I can see my bet now. 13 with your five, I stay in there. So I'm trying to get a feel of what the odds are like. You really can't get that feeling off of one sitting at any blackjack table. We could be in a, it looks like we have an automatic shuffler, or I shouldn't say that, a continuous shuffler. A continuous shuffler pretty much means there's not gonna be any such thing as counting cards because you have one to eight decks. I don't know how many are in here. So right now I'm going to show you guys the basic strategy card. I know you're looking at it and you're saying, whoa, that's as confusing as hell. So on the top part of the chart is what the dealer's showing up. And then on the left side of the chart is what you have, what you're looking at in your hand. And then basically in the chart is showing you what you should do. Should you stand? Should you double down? Should you just hit it? Man, I am getting some bad hands here though, guys. Well, okay, roll. All right, as I say that, I get a 21. Made a quick three hundo there. So we're up 170 bucks on the casino right now. That is nothing, but we're not really betting a whole lot either. So I'm not gonna go in at all on how I'm betting right now. I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what I'm going to play. So dealer has a five up. We wanna view that down card as it's going to be a 10. Okay, it's not always gonna be a 10, but it's going to help us know what we need to do with our hand. So we have a 13 with 20 seconds to respond. Our 13 with the five up, we want the dealer to break here. They hypothetically have 15, right? So we're going to stay. We want them to take the big card, not us. So he took himself out. Not the right move. Okay, 15. Pfft, yeah, that didn't work out right, but this is a losing game. <laughs> and from what I see, they stay on their soft 17s. This is a continuous shuffler. The odds are definitely much more against you here than they are in a traditional casino. Some casinos are much worse than other with odds if they do give you something good. Sometimes they won't. Okay, so 20. We have two jacks. Some people would think, oh, let's split this up. Not going to split this up. 20 is a great hand. There's only one hand that beats it. We stay on 20. And they have a 9. 19. So we win instead of splitting up a winning hand into a loser and maybe a winner. Maybe two losers. With that kind of money out there, that's not smart to do. Oh, wow. And you can go up to $5,000. Quite the spread. I like that. We'll get into what the spread means and how that's going to play into your strategy of betting in the next video. But I kind of want to get you guys all on the same page of how you play blackjack efficiently. All right, I got a 12. Let's see what the dealer has up. A face. Okay, well, they got 20 for all I'm concerned. I need to get at least a 17. The reason why I'm trying to get to at least 17 is because that's where the dealer stays. 21. We'll take that all day. There's really nothing but strategy behind this game. It is a losing game, so you want to bet properly. Uh, again, watch these two videos combined. Next video will be all about how to bet strategically off of your style. There'll be numerous different styles of betting. Blackjack would be great. We haven't got one yet. Face it up. There we go. We got the blackjack. So we should get 150 bucks on this one. There we go. 150 with our additional 100 we had out there, plus 250. Up nearly $600 on the casino. Um, six or 16? Yeah, 16 is not a good hand, and it's only six the other way, so neither are good. Let's hit it. Let's make it better. 14. 14. He has a 10 up, so I'm thinking he has 20. I'm not at 17 yet. I'm only at 14, so the card's going to tell me to hit. 19. I got to stay there. It doesn't beat 20, but it's over 17. I have to stay there. Okay, they don't have the 20, thankfully. And bam, they break it out. 22 will do. Up 200 bucks. I'm really curious to see what the high roller tables are all about, guys. We're going to have to go check that out. Maybe not in this video or the next video, but we're going to have to have a high roller session. 12 with your 6 up. Okay, so this is one of them that feels weird. You got a lot of room on a 12, right? But he has a 16. That's what we think. He has a 6 up. He has a 16. 
there's a lot of cards that will break a 16. So we're going to stay on our 12. I know this guy's thinking I'm an idiot because he doesn't know how to play, but we're staying on our 12. He's got the 16. Oh, well, he got... He got the damn card he needed, unfortunately. But hey, he had the cards we wanted him to have. Okay, so we have two fours and he has hypothetically a 20. We definitely do not want to split this thing into two separate fours, but we got to hit it. Eight, that's not a good hand. We can't break it. 16 is not 17, okay? There's a lot of cards that beat us, but it's not a 17. 21 it is, there you go. Now, I will specify that some people will stay on that 16 in the situation where they're supposed to hit it. If you do do that, you need to do that every time you have that 16 in this situation where you're supposed to hit it. That'll keep your odds roughly the same, but I would suggest to hit the 16 when you're supposed to hit it. He has 20. I got 21. I would have lost with 16. It's basic strategy, guys. It's losing odds, but it's basic strategy. Now, if you can implement a good basic strategy with a good betting regiment, but you can really kind of take it to the bank on some of your sessions and have a lot of fun playing this game. 16. I was hoping for a blackjack there. We got the soft 16. Three, Three. okay. <laughs> Three's a little low, but this is gonna be our first double down here. We're gonna go for it. And 21. Bam, 21. We got lucky on that. No, you're supposed to stay, lucky buddy. Oh, Ooh, and it would have give him a 21. Saved it. Bad play does save the day in some occasions. We're up $1,200 on the casino right now. Three, 16, I have to stay, right? Okay, so the reason I'm staying, I'm not going to a 17, is because he has a three. He doesn't have a seven or higher. I think he has a 13. That means he has to hit no matter what. We're gonna stay. Mm, he got us there, all right, he got us. It's gonna happen. Cards are stacked against us. Now, here's the deal with 20, guys. 20 is a pushing hand. He's not showing a 10, so thankfully we have a higher odds of winning this one. We are going to stand. I almost I almost pressed hit, so be careful with this, guys. Ooh. 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 There we go. Nice. Okay, so twos up are dangerous. You're assuming it's a 12, which means the dealer has to hit. But if they don't get a face, they get anything. There's just a lot of room. So we're going to hit this. We're not going to double it. We're going to hit it. 14, now they do have the two up, so I have to stay. I can't go past that. Wow. Jesus, why are you doubling a f What? Dealer has 21. She pushed on that. Oh, my goodness. She got a three for 20, mean, oh, 21. That means she had 18, and she doubled it down. This is a common mistake, guys. People think if you double down, you're not going to get any more cards. If you double down, you have to take another card. They call 17 the mother-in-law hand because you want to hit it, but it's just gonna get you in trouble. You can't hit the damn thing. You gotta stay. What the hell? She just doubled down again and got a two for 21. You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's do this thing. Biggest bet we got on the table so far, $2,500. Bam! Oh no, oh no. See, I would've broke. I would've taken that face on my 12. No, stay. Stay on your 19. What? What? Oh, would've had 19. 17. Yeah, either way, I lost. That was the stupidest move by that guy he could have had. He hit his 19. Table max. If I lose this, I'm going to high stakes. You got that, buddy? That guy's betting five grand a hand. It's not smart. Flat betting is what that's called. Oh, no. We're going to have to double this thing down. Double me down. Come on. Come on. Do me right. That's 12. The worst card I could have got. 12. Thankfully, the dealer has the best bus card up. Big card. Stay. Another stay. Stay. 15. Stay. Would you like another card? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 16. And bus wow. We just won $10,000 right there. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's go up to stakes for a minute here. That's the only damn... It's the only damn... What? I want to see what the limits are over here. Oh my god. They're betting big money here. They're betting the slabs. We don't even have these at our casino. I just want to see what the bet spread is, but it looks like a full table, so I'm actually going to go back over here. Let's go play with this other guy. So as of right now, we're about eight grand up on the casino. Not bad at all. All right, tough start for us. 15. Dealer has the 10 up. What do we do here, guys? 15? We're not to what? We're not to 17, right? So we have to hit it. The reason why we have to hit it is because they got the 10 up. Hello. Here's a 16. 
Ah, 16 is not 17. We already went over this again, though, guys. You can stay on 16 if you want, but you need to stay on it every time. I don't do that. I hit my 16s. Hit your damn hand, boy. Well, at least that guy's playing properly over there, so I think I'm going to leave this table. Oh, dangerous ace. This is the first time we've seen this. Would you like another card? Wow, they don't offer insurance. They just immediately check. So no insurance. That makes it a little easier for us. We don't have to explain any of that. 13. You have to treat the ace as a face. So it's a face up. We think it's 20. Right. There's just too much shots that the dealer gets Showing with an ace. 19. 19. We got to stand on that, of course. Well over 17. 17. Bam. So hopefully you guys are understanding this. I will go a little bit further here, play a little bit more with you guys. We got a 10. What do you got up? Two. We're going to be doubling down here. Double me down. It's dangerous. 12s are dangerous. Ooh, we got lucky. This guy's betting 5G's flat betting. We'll talk about flat betting in the next video. It's not a smart way of gambling. So we have a soft 17. Now, technically we have 17, right? And they have the 10, we should stay. But this is a soft 17. We have a chance to make it better. 17 isn't great. Okay, 12 isn't good at all either. Just no face, no face. Bam, and that's why you do that, guys. Perfect example. Bam, out the door. Ooh, and that was the eight for good ace in there, good ace. Let's get those bets in. Let's get those bets in. Let's do this thing. I'm by myself now with an eight. So he's got 18, we're thinking. We only got 15. It's not quite to 17, so we got to hit. Six or less, buddy. That'll do us. Would you like another card? No, I do not want another card on 20. 19, we win. All right, so let's do a couple more hands, and we will call this video Dunzo. Hopefully you guys are getting the basics on, on how, to, just be, how to play the game. We have not talked one little bit on how to properly bet. Of course, you maybe have been catching on to a betting scheme that I'm doing here but we'll talk about that fully in the next video we're gonna talk about three separate types of betting that you can do we broke it's part of the deal so yeah how to play guys it's the basics again that strategy card if you're not understanding what I'm explaining verbally that strategy card is your ultimate look at everything it's not that hard of a game when you look at it you're just looking at the dealers up card just as much as you're looking at your hand. That's what's often forgotten. Also the different plays, when to double down and all that good stuff. A couple nines, she might give us a split potential here. All right, so this is a perfect example of a split. We have an 18. She technically has a 19, we're thinking. We are going to split this thing. Stand on that one. Split this one again. Oh, uh, we can't split two? Oh, no. That sucks. All right, so you can only split twice. In the real casino, you can split twice. You can split four times. It, that's always a variation in the real casino. 18, so we got moving up. We pushed on one, and we won one. 15. It is not to 17, and we want to get to 17 because they have that 10 up. We're thinking it's a 20. We got to view that down card as a 10, even though it's not going to be there. 15, let's hit it up. It happens, unfortunately. It happens. 15, that one's up to you. Be consistent with it. 15. There you go. Pays to stay on your 16 sometimes, guys, but you got to be consistent with it. People think, well, there's a high odds that you're going to break a 16, but you also have to keep in the variable how many times is the dealer going to make their hand when you stay on your 16. So kind of gets a little tough there. All right, so we got a 10, but we're not going to double down because we think that they have a 20 and there's no point in doing that. So we're just going to hit. 16 is not 17. We need to make it there because of that ace up. It happens. Come on, Ace. Come on, Ace. Good luck, Ace. Good luck, Ace. Come on. You're a slow dealer. Gave me a 7 because I said that. 8 or 18. This is the most underplayed hand in blackjack. You are supposed to hit it. I am going to stand on it because you can just hurt it too much. With that 2 up, I'm not a th I'm not thrilled with it. See, I would have been starting over with that 6. I would be at 8 for... I'd be at 14. I would have ended up with 18. And I win. Nice. All right, guys, so hopefully you are understanding how to play the basic strategy here on Blackjack. Pay attention to the dealer's hand. You can look at what you have and then what the dealer has. I mean, it doesn't really matter in what order, but you need to pay attention to their up card. That will tell you what to do with your hand, because just because you have a 13 one hand doesn't mean you're going to do the same thing with that 13 on the next damn hand, okay? It's not all about what you have. She has an 8 up. I have an 18. I think that down card is a 10 just to keep my odds, you know, in the same. So we're going to stay. 18 is a push. We're not looking to lose this hand. We're not looking to win it, but we're not looking to lose it. 18, it's there. All right, guys, one more hand, one more final hand, and we will be calling it the end of this video. I want to see if you guys can call this one out properly. 
19 is a good hand. So what are we going to do? Because the dealer has a 3 up. This probably isn't the best hand to end it on. So we have a 19. They have a 3 up. What do we think that they have? A 13, right? Because the down card is a what? It's a 10. So our 19, we're going to stand on it. All right, so they get a 4 or 14. That's a 17. That means we win, just like that. All right, let's give it one more hand, because that, that was an easy one. Obviously, you're going to stay on your 19. I want to give you guys a, a little bit of a tough one. You can use your cheat card. You can use that basic strategy card that I showed in the beginning. But I want to see if you guys get this right. Last hand here. Make her hot. Okay, so we have a 13, and the dealer has a 10 up. What do we think the dealer has? A 20, right? Because the down card is a 10. We have a 13. What do we want to try to get to? What's our minimum hand we want to try to get to here? 17. It's your play. It is my play. An 18. What did we just get past with 18? A 17. We got to stay. Although it doesn't beat their hypothetical 20 over there, we have passed 17. Our odds are against us 17. now. See, there's the next card. There's the big card. Would have broke us. You need to stay on your 17. 20. All right, well, we went down swinging. We had to go down swinging. You know what? We're going to call it good on that one, too. Why is this table always full? Is it always full? Can't play high limit blackjack? We're going to find that out in the future, but it's been full for like the last one hour and 37 seconds of recording time. So we're going to be making our way over to the wheel. We're going to try to spin that. It should be technically a fresh day, even though it hasn't been 24 hours. Be kind of curious to see how they designate that. It's a new day, that's for sure. You can only once per day. Please play again tomorrow. Okay, well, they're not going to let me spin it. So that is where we're going to end this one up, guys. You know I appreciate every single one of you guys tuning in, liking, commenting, and subscribing, sharing the videos. If you're sharing the videos, if you're not sharing the videos, please think about doing so. Social media forms, wherever you can do so. It does help greatly because you never know who's going to see it and who else is going to share it. With that said, hopefully this video did help you guys in assisting you on how to properly play blackjack, when to hit, when to split, and when to double down, how to read the card properly. Again, the card is very simple to look at. It looks very confusing, but once you know what you're looking at, it's pretty simple. It's just a basic chart. So look at what the dealer has on the top first, the most important, then look at your hand, and it'll tell you exactly what to do. With that said, guys, as always, I hope you all stay happy. Please stay positive, and we will definitely speak to you next time.